Okay, this is another beginner tutorial, but I bet you're smarter than I am because I'm still frustrated with not being able to create a new game without forgetting how I did FSMs that I did like yesterday. So I ended up uh, reloading games over and over again or watching the same YouTube videos that I just watched to recreate something I already did. And I definitely don't have the memory of A2, A2, A2. Pretty close. Come on, let's go, Ray. 246. There's four left in the box. So I end up, like I said, I keep going back, opening these giant FSMs and finding the specific chunk I need and writing it down on paper. And then I got stuck. So I came up with a way to kind of document FSMs really, really easily and to be able to recreate FSMs from simple notes with a kind of a, uh, a format I came up with. Um, seems pretty easy and it seems to have sped up my workflow. I call it my Playmaker cheat sheet with a kind of a, a formatted syntax that I kind of came up with. Um, I guess other people have done this, but I just, I did this and um, this is what I use all the time now. I have my functions that I need to recreate and I kind of document these as I go so I never have to rewatch a YouTube video or refigure out something that I already know I've done successfully. And now I just go back to this thing and it takes me like five minutes to recreate a function. Okay, this is basically how I do it and anything that works for you is the correct way. So this is how my little syntax thing kind of breaks down. I have the basic things of the FSM states. There's only three states here to open and close a door. And this is kind of how I would recreate opening and closing a door with this little simple snippet. And I kind of collect these things. So basically create a model. This is our little door here. And um, for an example, uh, create a separate collider named X. And this is basically if you go to the cabinet, um, I created a child object called X and our first state on that object uh, is A. And just reading along here, the only action I dragged into it was trigger event right here. And the rest of the stuff is just the specifics of the things you have to add to make this thing work. So uh, the game object property was set with the collider name. So I just drag the collider name into it. Um, the trigger property was set to on enter, which it is right here. Collider tag was player. You don't have to, it's however you make it work. My uh, first person controller had happened to be called player. So I just set that in and this is the end of that state. And it says go to state B. State B is the next one. It's basically the same kind of thing. I just dragged in the anim animator play action. I specified the game object, which was the door left. And this already had an animation attached to it. And that animation was named cabinet one and the same kind of things. And you just go along with just like that, B and C. And that's all there, there was to it. So you can run that. And this guy here opens the door. And that's how I actually note, um, note all my work and it seems to speed up workflow quite a bit. It's, it's better than copy and pasting and writing it down on paper. So anyway, hopefully this helps uh, make your workflow easier as well. Okay, good luck, bye.